In these critical and challenging times, every effort to mitigate hardship in the land is a welcome relief. The Sokoto and Zamfara Area Commands of the Nigeria Customs Service uh, have released 15 seized trucks of grains back to their rightful owners in adherence to a presidential directive aimed at enhancing food security. The traders are expected to re reciprocate the gesture by ensuring the grains get to the needy. The Katsina Area Command also released trucks of seized grains to their owners. Let's share those moments with you. Uh, watch on, please. That uh, the trucks are uh, being handed over. The chairman local government is receiving on behalf of the traders' union. That's of course the presidential directive which mandated the returns of the 10 food items to the owners on the condition that they are to be sold in the Nigerian market. The response to the presidential directive is to ensure food security and alleviate the hardship faced in the country. To ensure the directive is complied with the command in collaboration with the Customs Intelligence Unit CIU Federal Operation Unit and the Joint Border Patrol Team to be closely monitored by the task force. Indeed, this is a very huge gesture coming from Nigerian Customs Service. Owing to the order of Mr. President to please the seize assorted grants to the owners. It's unheard of and may be very rare for such gestures. But this demonstrates the willingness and the intention of the Nigerian government and the customs authorities. That was a real mistake right from the start. But they couldn't iron it out. But now we have got this uh, grace. And we say we are very grateful. And uh, we can look at this as uh, blessings from Ramadan. handing over of 15 trucks of grains to their owners in compliance to the directive. I want to call upon the traders to reciprocate the magnanimity of Mr. President by ensuring the grains are sold to Nigerian markets. As a follow-up to the directive, the command in collaboration with Customs Intelligence Unit, Federal Operations Unit, and joint border patrol teams will monitor the sales of these grains in Nigerian markets and ensure they are not smuggled out of the country. Let me enlighten traders and general public that grains and its derivatives are under the extant export prohibition list. I want to also use this medium to pass across a stern warning to smugglers to desist from their dastardly act. Yes, to date. And I will also give our thanks to Mr. President, who give directives to list our put item so that we can take it to our local market and sell it in a good price. So we thank also the controller who handed over our put item safely. We thank Almighty Allah. Yeah, she did a great get, uh, gesture, if you ask me. Yes. Um, but le le let me sound a little cynical. Um, the Holy Month is here. Christians are also observing Lent. Yes. So if they are believers, this is the time to reciprocate the gesture. Or don't you think so? Yes. Um, and this is the time for them to respect the extant laws 
of our country. Grains are on the export prohibition list. We can have a situation in which we clearly cannot feed our people. Our people are going through a lot. Now, the, the little that we produce, mm. because you stand a chance to make money by taking it across the border. I've been talking about this long before we face this problem. When I went to Yobe early last year, I saw truckloads of produce, farm produce, being taken across the border. And the way they will stack it, it will be as high as a story building. They will stack those vehicles. They are going across. Now, it's a lot worse because our currency has slid badly in value. Yeah. yeah. So Nigerian food is way cheaper now for our neighbors to buy. So if we want to make money as a, a farmer, you take what you have produced across mm -hmm. the border. The EFCC, Immigration Customs, they've seen so many trucks trying to go across the border. And these ones were part of them. I said, okay. Mr. President said, let's forgive them. Let's release their grains to them, but they must go and sell those grains to Nigeria. inside our markets. Yeah. 15 trucks. You can imagine how many bags of rice yeah. or millet or, or uh, because these, maize. these trucks are overloaded. Of course, because no one, they, they, they don't go through the normal route that you yeah. and I use. So yeah. now, you can imagine if we had the opportunity of sell, I mean, buying those grains. Already in northern Nigeria, prices of grains are going down. We reported that in Kwara, for example, because government bought a lot of grains and distributed to people, the price, price of maize especially came down. In Yobe, we also reported and we interviewed people. We had them saying, look, the prices are going down because they are going after uh, not just smugglers, but hoarders. Mm -hmm. There are people who hoard these things deliberately and wait for an opportune moment to then push them into the market when they can make three times the expected uh, uh, gain. So we cannot have this situation continue. We have to block the routes through which they take these things across the border. Sell to Nigerians. Nigerians need, need this uh, uh, food need desperately. This. Look at this one now. Look at, they are all overloaded. So it's not a question of us not even having at all or not uh, having. Our people are simply trying to make money from the unfortunate situation we find ourselves mm -hmm. by taking these things across the border. You can say, oh, uh, uh, bandits are not allowing people to produce. But if you go to northern Nigeria, the quantum of food that you will see. Yeah. You know that, yes, they, they are not like southern Nigeria where we don't uh, produce a lot of uh, agri. Uh, mm -hmm. Over there, they commit themselves to producing, uh, whether it's livestock or uh, these grains, they Very produce sure. in, yeah. in good quantities. And, but let's stop them from taking these things across the border to sell. Um, CK, we are talking about the enemy within. Yes, <laughs> of course. So the enemy now has a choice. Yes. Sell to Nigerians or forget it. Yes, you know the Yorubas have a saying, Koko to Jeffo, no lower. So, um, and that is a true fact. Um, yes, we are talking about uh, scarcity of food, the high prices of uh, food items. Uh, but we are also not doing enough in ensuring that these food items are placed within the country. Mm. Because majority of what you have, we are taking abroad. And um, most often than not, other countries will prefer, will make sure that they're able to satisfy the local needs of their people in terms of food items before exporting. Whichever country you look at, either United States, UK, or wherever. But taking that further, I, I will first of all um, want to commend the current Comptroller General of Customs. C.G. Adeni. Adeni, uh, yeah. Yes, Adeni. Um, that, um, that man, uh, within the few months that he's been in office, he has been able to show capacity. And, um, you know, leadership is what leadership begets. 
what when he heard is good. A corresponding form. Yes, every other thing within that sense. And I think that he has been able to make uh, a lot of impact for me, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Mm. Within the custom, within few, yeah. I bet it's expected. It's expected of him because this is somebody that grew up through the ranks. At one time, he was the spokesperson of, <laughs> of the, the custom. Longest the longest serving. The longest serving. Yeah. So it's, uh, we, take, we take him as one of us. Uh, mm. Because uh, when you look at, he's a member of NIPR. He's, uh, he's, so, he's, mm. we say, he's, so he's one of us. So yeah. that is why we say responsibility should be given to those. That, like the last person that was there, you know, he, he didn't go to ranks. He was not even a custom um, officer. He's a retired minister of, uh, military man mm. that was just picked. And, it was, it yes, was an aberration. It's an ab total aberration. Mm. And that is why we've always advocated that. Let people get rewards. For their job. You don't just pick somebody from nowhere and say dump him in a particular place and say you are the head. He yeah. won't be able to get the comma. He doesn't know the nitty gritty. So the, the this particular one, we got it right. And you can see the effort being made. CK, by CK, my trouble is the grains have been returned to the original owners. Let it go to the needy. Yeah, that is where I'm going to. That is because definitely. Mm -hmm. um, and let us also commend the president for the magnanimity because what you'd have known that once he sees, the next thing is that custom should dispose of it. They didn't say the custom is dispose of it. Return it to the owners. Let yeah. them take it back to the because at times when you return it to the government agencies, they do it the way they like. It's good night. It just it, just, it, it disappears. So, but let them also show some level. But my own worry is that these are just um, the uh, trucks that were impounded at the major borders. Nigeria has the highest number of porous borders across board. Mm -hmm. The most but, poorest, probably in the world. So that's yes, by choice. Yes, well, it's not. I think it's because by of. A, I think it's because of the land mass, and also because of. Uh, yeah, we can say by choice, but uh, it's very very difficult a, a, with such a land mass and over close to about five thousand <laughs> borders that cannot be manned. It becomes a problem. Then so, China, China would be at sea. Uh, uh, no, 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 no good there. Uh -huh. Citizen, no good there. No good there. It, it is possible. Yes, it's possible. Mm. But what I'm saying, in essence, is that. For every 15 that were intercepted at that particular block, you can yeah. rest assured that over 100 must have made their way through other means. Yeah. Because what is going to happen now is that since the other has been used, they use start, smaller vehicles. Yes. If okay. it's smaller vehicles, what they would do now is now start looking for alternative routes yeah. to still take it out. It's just like closing the border. What we did with closing the borders from vehicles from entering, you start seeking them going through the interland, through the Duroco and the rest of them. But... I think that um, what we need to do is to make sure that all these food items remain here for now. Let us even feed ourselves before thinking of feeding all that. Yeah, that because, person. because we can do it. It's no rocket science. There is nothing, there, there is nothing impossible about that. Okay, let's go to our next story. Pure politics. You know, the 10th century...